Here I am removing the passenger side bracket and bushing. Here is the bracket. It's a split bushing, as I said before. It just pops right off. I'll pull it right towards you. Here's what the bushing looks like. See, this is the part that really concerned me. See, like it's almost like the the rubber liquefied and squeezed out. It it's not torn. Um, it's not dry rotted. Not sure if they had to be replaced or not, but I figure with 150,000 miles on the car, uh, it's uh, well worth it. So I wanted to show you what I saw. So this is the passenger side of the sway bar, and right here, it's like liquefied rubber. Uh, the bushing definitely softened over time and uh, began oozing out. Uh, at one time I had a power steering pump leak, um, and maybe this is a, a lot of the power steering pump fluid on here caused this. I don't know, but both sides had it. But uh, this is what I saw and led me to believe that I needed to change this bushing. So I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand in video, but what I ended up doing is bending this open as far as I possibly could. Uh, these are, like I said, pretty stiff. And to get them over the sway bar, it's a little bit of a chore. Um, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and when I get back, up, back on, you'll see that it's already on the sway bar. So there's a trick to getting these on because the new bushing is really stiff. The bracket doesn't fit all the way over it with just your hand tightening. Start the back bolt with a few threads started. Switch to the front side, get a long pry bar. Pull down on the front of the bracket several times to help seat the bracket over the top of the bushing. And then quickly get your hand in there before it springs back up. Get it finger tight and start threading it. And then it just uh, tighten up as normal. I wanted to show a comparison between the original equipment, N-Link, and the new ones that I just bought. Uh, just for visually looking at them, they're uh, substantially different. The uh, original is uh, 10 millimeters in diameter of the N-Link. The replacement has 13 millimeters, and uh, definitely substantial, more substantial there. Same as diameter, but this one has a grease dirt, so I'll uh, put these in, and I'll be able to lubricate these over the life of the vehicle now. Got a 7 millimeter wrench to install these zerts. The original equipment didn't have that. Steel all the way around, looks like. Uh, there's plastic in here. Uh, the original equipment is definitely not as beefy as the uh, replacement one I bought. So I'm rain sawing the driver's side end length. So far I don't need to use a wrench on the on the open piece yet. I've got this on now. Now I'm gonna have to use a floor jack to raise up the torsion bar the sway bar. It's a lot stiffer than it was. Before, before I can actually move that bar by hand, uh, there's no way I could do that now with these new ordained bushings in there. I knew that was going to be too short. So I'm raising the end link up to meet the other mounting point up on the first strut. Okay, got that. 